Hi, I'm Samuel Rapport, and today I'm going to be talking about feminism and science fiction. Now, before I start, I want a quick note. Female writer is not the same thing as a feminist writer. A female writer doesn't have to be feminist, and a feminist writer doesn't have to be female. Now, quick history time. The very first significant science fiction work published by a woman was Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. And then, skipping over to the early 1900s, many women speculated about female utopias. One of them being Sultana's Dream, which was written by Sakawit Hussein, a Muslim woman. And then, in 1926, Claire Her Winger Harris wrote The Runaway World, which is one of the first sci-fi works openly published by a woman. Now, Chamblou. So, context. In the 1930s, Chamblou was pretty much a mark of its time. Women openly publishing was fairly uncommon. Hence the androgynous pen name of C.L. Moore. Strong female leads were almost non-existent, and discussion of gender equality in mainstream sci-fi didn't really happen. As far as I know, Chamblou doesn't break from the status quo in any of these regards. The 1960s are when female writers became fairly commonplace, and strong female characters became mainstream, such as The Wrinkle in Time. Also, Star Trek, the original series, had Uhara as a prominent character which was an important step not only in female, but also racial representation in science fiction. In the 1970s, many popular works were openly published by women, showing genderless utopian societies. Most notably, Ursula Le Guin's Hand of Darkness, Joanna Russ's The Female Man, and Marge Piercy's Woman on the Edge of Time. Also during this time, James Chiptree Jr., the pen name for Alice Cooper, published The Girl Who Was Plugged In. This later inspired the James Chiptree junior award in the 90s, an ongoing yearly award for speculative works of fiction which explore and expand gender. Since then, strong female characters and progressive works have become common in sci-fi, but not yet ubiquitous. Ghost in the Shell's protagonist, Major Kusanagi, is a respected head of the police squadron. Neon Genesis Evangelion has the strong but flawed Asuka Langley. Many Miyazaki movies have empowering female protagonists such as Nasuka, and most people are familiar with Laura Croft. On to the 21st century. There have been many, many novels such as Mistborn and The Host with female leads that contribute to the gender discussion. Hunger Games gives a strong, empowering female role model in pop culture, and Firefly has a whole cast of strong female characters with depth, and I don't even need to talk about Star Wars Episode Seven.